life should be live there now guys hey everybody welcome in um i do have ac froggies with me and green frog what's up guys what's up everybody um in the chat we have rc mcmaster we've got jose we've got gaz fpv chat already i have been going back and forward with the chat and just yeah. actually waiting on the live to show up on my own phone there we go yep i like so the i'm on my phone so i can't see the chat this time yeah yeah yeah. no worries so um jose before i start with a 66 you asked me in the chat so these are what i'm running on my lc70 the boom racing um baby hustlers they are, they're probably too small for you though, because they're tiny. They're like a 1.55 by 3.75. So they are really small. That's what I'll be running on the LC70. Island RC Duke, welcome. RC Show Off, welcome. So they are really small, Jose. Oh, before, before we do start, I might as well show you. I won this figure from Wayne Kibler a while back. And she came with two heads. So she came with yeah. this thing, but then she came with an awesome head. Look at that. She's got the cowboy hat and the dust mask. Nice. Like how much more Australian could you make this truck look? Uh, you know? Right. You know, it's all, and she fits perfectly. Like if I open it up, if I open it up, she just fits. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Perfectly in it, like. So I was thinking since I have her and with the cowboy hat and the mask and she even has her gun on her and everything, I should nice. get like a, I should try and get like a border collie, like a sheepdog for the passenger oh, seat or something. Yeah. yeah. That'll work. Yeah. I'll so be, yeah. I will probably do a live during the week on that one. Of, I'll probably do an unboxing and a build of the BRX01 chassis. We'll start That's with build what, Tuesday or Thursday or something? Yeah, probably Wednesday night or something. But I'm, yeah, if I do it, I'll, I'll only, I'll probably invite just the two of you guys and then I'll just spotlight the video when I'm there and then we'll just have the three of us on chatting, you know? Yeah, cool. We can cover the chat for you when you're yeah. building for the most part. Robert, of whatever. Welcome in, Robert. You know, so I'll probably do that Wednesday night because Tank does Thursday nights. Yeah. So this, guys, oh, is, you brought the six by back out. This is the six by six. Time to start working on this bad boy yeah. again. <laughs> so it even has a nice scale engine in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Full engine in it. So nice. There is going to be a lot to this. So That's nice. I have went ahead and got the chassis and all as well. So this is the chassis for it. I, I do love how scale that engine is, though, in it. That's nuts. And you guys in the chat, this is my friend Artie. I'm at his house right now. He's got a yard sale going with planes, all these different plane kits. So I'm just here hanging out with him. And awesome. Sorry, you can see some of his stuff in the head. background. Well, um, so this is another boom racing chassis, guys. So this, like, even everything, all your metal. All everything's metal, like all metal drive shafts. Like they do really great kits. Like their scale transmission, if you want that, you can actually buy the scale transmission separately. You looked it over again. Well, well, I forget who who it was that got it and had a couple issues with the, the carrier bearing or something like that underneath. Oh, that was um, that was Nate. His was made in the Friday, yeah. but that was for that was for the boom racing the D ninety. Oh, okay. His was for the his D ninety was put together at like five o'clock on a Friday evening or something. Right. Like when the, when the right. whistle was about to blow, like just honestly, my I have a few boom racing rigs, like I've never had an issue with any of them. So it's time to start working on this one again. So what I will be doing with this one, this is the body. I will be modifying all of this stuff to make this all fit in the back. So this will be getting turned into 
So this will be getting turned into a racker truck. Nice. My six by six recovery truck. So I will be working on getting that done. Um, but let's I just put that over there for a second. We'll grab the box for this thing. I'm gonna show you is like the amount of stuff that's actually in this. I seen somebody new popping into the chat there a second ago, did I? Um Yep, I was right, I heard him. Hi baby. Hey boy. Gaz is in here. Maybe not still the usual crowd. So we'll get this over. We'll see how much fun we're gonna actually be in for. <laughs> Hopefully it's was designed exactly for that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is it's the this body is all designed for that chassis and everything like too. So well yeah. it's, is it so this is their this is one thing I wish they would do boom racing like killer body give you some of the lights already colored. I wish mm. boom racing would do that. So now I have to paint like the yellow ones and the red ones. And just Same with RC four wheel drive. Yeah, right. it's like so why I don't know why they just give you clear ones. It's cheaper for them. Yeah. So here's our four doors. All the doors will open on this as well. There are That's doors. Cool. Now this table is going to be big enough to spread everything out. There's the hood. The hood will open as well. Our, for us normal people, the bonnet will open. I know you didn't say uh, normal. But we know you're not normal. I uh, know, yeah. <laughs> welcome in. Maddox, welcome in. Yeah, so let me see. Uh, <laughs> this is the this is the dashboard, dashboard, steering wheel, parts for the seats. So I'm gonna have a lot of prep work today, but it's about this thing is set forever. Like, here's the interiors for the doors. Um. Uh, there's all the hinges, the doors, hinges, wipers, everything. I don't know if I'll make this truck. Um, I might put a light up dashboard in it, use some of them lights from the killer body cockpit and put them in it. Nice. Man, that sun glaring in there. You can hardly see all these white parts on that table. Right, they're kind of disappearing. I know they're just disappearing on the table. So here's the, the fender first for the back. The, the double fender first flares and then the single ones for the front. So that like they do they do put plenty of thought into their kits. That's one good thing about them. That's the the back door. So the back door even opens as well. So I will put the back door in and have it sort of flops down when I'm recovering. Front piece for the windscreen. Um, the uh, front grill. The, these are the stupidest things ever. Like um, the one thing I, I hate about the D90, these uh, like skid reels that they give you, they're really nice skid reels. But the stupid thing is they they screw. Once you put like, yeah, let me see. So here's your interior, right? So here's your interior. Well, the floor pan for the interior. That's the floor pan. Underneath this, see these little these little clips right here? There's two of them. Yeah. So they screw so that the floor pan take because it's just gonna be exact same as the D90. So the floor pan sits in like this, right? And on it. But then you have to actually screw up through here and here to put on the actual skid plate. So anytime you want to take the battery off or the body to change the battery, you have to actually screw the skid plates off to lift everything off, which is a stupid oh, wow. idea. Like, I don't know why they didn't put slots like here and here where the two posts and the skid rails would just slide up through or something. That would be a good idea. Anchor points. 
Sean yeah. Jose is wondering where you get your uh, accessories, your boom racing accessories and RC stuff from. Where do I get all my boom racing stuff? I get from Asia Tees. I get all my boom racing stuff. This is Dragon one Club. feature I really love in this one. Like the seats in this one already came red. Oh, wow. Look at the detail in them seats, even. Yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. Like, so the detail in these things. So they, they even came red, and they're like solid rubber. Like, these things are solid. Even the front ones, they'll be like <laughs> your front seat right here. But these sit, these sit up on a so they're adjustable. Even when you put them in the truck as well, nice. Yeah, Lift them back and forward. What you get wet at? And then this is all just like light buckets, wing wing mirrors, and all your grills and vents. <laughs> Yeah, the more parts, the better, easier to paint and customize. Yeah, Kevin Gibbs. So this, true. I did, I do have all the paint already. This is the This is what's crazy. My cat's gonna. Eat me. When you see this, oh, let me see. What you pay me for? This is why Earth? when people say I like working with dollhouse trucks, this is real dollhouse, right? Can you show us the screws or something? No. Can you see all the size of these little magnets? Oh, oh wow. The fat magnets. Hold on. Let me see if the camera will focus on it. There we go. Now my mic's on. Look at the, look how small these things are. Like, this is on the tip of one of them wee tiny screwdrivers. Yeah. That's look nuts. how small these magnets like, are. Smaller than eighth of inch, sixteenth inch. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, different yeah. sizes there. You can see them this way. Let me see. My camera will focus. What? Why? Someone get here and buy it. <laughs> like they, they're tiny, guys. It's like, um, if I had a hello penny, if I had a penny, I would set one on a penny for you just to give you an idea. Right. Good for scale refrigerator magnets. Yeah. The, the, so it's like working with these are tiny. You know? I don't go losing them. I know, yeah, I can't lose them. I, I did lose, I think I lost, because Kevin Gibbs said with the LC70 body came the little C-clips to hold in all the lights, but I cannot find them anywhere. Like, I've searched high and low, and I just cannot find these things. You should be able to find those online easier than, like, the hinges and stuff. Yeah, I, I'd say yeah. as... um what do you call it, as AC Froggy said, I think the, what do you call it, the Axiom one ones, ones might work for it. Hopefully. Yeah. Like, you, you can know. make those trees still at the hobby shop, so yeah. that's not a big deal. I feel like me, oh, actually, and then here in this bag. In my on? And this, yeah, you're on. Okay. This is the we box. see you, we hear you. <laughs> this is the box that Kathy came in. So this is all the windows. That's like all the all the windows for so there is a lot of stuff to do in this. And then there's all your typical decal sheets. Did you get, that's the one that doesn't have the sticker for the front, right? Yeah, I know it doesn't like every damn sticker except the little tiny the tiny one that's needed for the front grill. Like it's just and like why would you not Every Land Rover in the world is like every Land Rover in the world is recognized by that that freaking Land Rover badge, like on the front grill. Like that's just without a doubt, every Land Rover, and they don't give you it in the decal sheets. It's like uh, why? Like I just don't understand. Mm -hmm. Like crazy. All right, let me put some of this stuff back in here, and we'll start. You have to have Real Seven Scoop make you some up. Huh? You have to get some of those little Land Rover symbols made up by Three O Seven Scoot or something. Yeah, that got... or else I'll buy some. Um, I'll maybe just buy some. What do you call it? Metal ones or something. Right. Uh, CC hand right. or something. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna hop out of here for a little bit. Um, Artie's gonna do another live with our local group, and I will stop back in later. No problem. We'll see you later, AC. Good luck, Artie. See you later, Azy. Nice meeting you.
Oh, there's so much stuff. I missed all of it. <laughs> so that is going to be the six by six, guys. And then under my desk, there's a lot more stuff. So this is going to be the start of one of my UST builds for next year. And then under my desk, I have a lot of stuff to start building too. So let me just get up for a second and grab my exacto knife. I want to just start cutting all the little pieces off of this to get it ready for camping. I'd imagine if you clean up around there, you'll find those parts that are missing. It's not like they walked away. I've looked everywhere. Like even the stuff that's on my desk, I moved all of that stuff and everything. I still... Check the drawers, the endless drawers. Check the floor. Yeah, I try, it's like yeah check the floor. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy because there should be like a five to 12 of them. Hey, I take the RC. Welcome, welcome. I might have to put one on my Sunday list to see it back. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's just like I was. I don't like the like. I love the axial six by six, and the the tracks is six by six. I just hated the bodies on all of them. Like I didn't like the Unimog body. I didn't like the Sadies G wagon. Yeah, I didn't like that G wagon body. So when I came across a nice six by six Landover, I was like, hey. That's that's more what I like instead of that other stuff. Because the G wagon, like, let's face it, it's like the ugliest looking body you'll ever come across. But I I don't care what anybody says. Even my neighbor's one. It's he thinks he's like the much nuts driving around in it, but it is ugly as sin. Like, yeah, not the six by six, obviously, but it's a G wagon. Yeah, I can think of better ways to spend a half million. Yeah. Oh, Benfield, you still have Karen's name at the bottom. Yeah, I know. Name, uh, yeah. All right, undercover. Can you push that yeah. mini Z? Can you push that mini Z back a little bit to give us a better look? Uh, it's a little MN ninety nine. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Got opening the hood and stuff. Yeah, the that's yeah. where the battery tray is. Yeah. So a lot of people are starting to get them, like so. You know, time to start, time to start cutting and losing fingers now. Maybe, you know? Hopefully, not losing parts. Yeah, I know. Hopefully, well, this, there shouldn't be anything to lose, like you know. So, you know what? I'm gonna put a brand new blade on this first, and as well do that. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to work on a background, so. Trying to work on a lot, is it? A uh, background so you don't see my messy clothes. <laughs> no, okay. Welcome, Earl Moorhead. Do I have any blades for this? All right. My big ugly head stuck in your camera there from that point. <laughs> Predicted Darcy is wondering if that 6x6 six six body would fit a TRX 6. Um, I'm not sure. I think it would fit it with some modifying stuff. Right, you'd have issues with the interior, probably. Yeah, the interior and everything definitely wouldn't. Um, I will go on and move that camera back again a little bit. There we go. The wheelbase. So, if this helps for you. So, the overall wheelbase is... I don't know if you can see that on the camera there, can you? So the overall wheelbase is 4.53. So from the front wheel to the front rear wheel is 3.34. And then to the last rear wheel is, what's that, 4.19, I think, isn't it? A 119. Oh, uh, yeah, 119. So it's 119. And then 334, but overall it's 453. If that helps, I'm not sure. And then the height is 174. And then the width is 100 or 213.5. So if that helps you any, that's the dimensions for it. 
Don't know if it'll help much, but hey, Earl, welcome in. XJ, XJ, hey everybody, just popping in to say hello and show some love. How was the how was the event yesterday, XJ? You went to the you went to the event there in Jersey that I should have been at as well, but the wife didn't get home in time. She was in Boston. She was meant to be back by one o'clock, but I didn't see her to near four o'clock. So that's what you get for staying on live for so long the other night. Making her garden all by herself. Yeah, yeah. It looked Next like he, he sent me photos. Like it looked like a good, it looked like a really good turnout. Like, you know? Nice. Did I miss anybody coming in there? No. I want the TRX4 Tesla truck. When they come out, yeah, that would be fun. That would be funny, Mass Master. The Tesla, who somebody is making the Tesla though, aren't they? Somebody's Hot Wheels had it. Yeah, Hot Wheels had, but I think somebody else has just done a remake of it or something, isn't it? Not positive. But I seen um, Big Squid RC the other day. He had it or something. I think Big Squid was advertising or something. There were about 150 people. Wow, that was a big turnout, XJ. Looks like Robert's Thank taking you. off. I'll measure my 6x6. Six six. I want a new body. I would definitely consider this one. Yeah, the, the, the thing with this, you would have to modify the interior, though. But you can buy it without the interior, too. So you could do that. Yeah, a brand new blade makes a big difference. A when, you feel it when you cut yourself. What's that? But you won't even feel it when you cut yourself now. Yeah, that's it. Jesus. That's the thing about the, like that's a good thing about the hard bodies. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of small little prep work to get them ready for paint, but at least if you mess up a hard body, you just freaking repaint over it. Sand it yeah. back in and repaint. You ever see these end cutting players, like screw players for cutting? I don't have them. They would be common sense, Keegan. You know? They're handy. Yeah, they, they would be. Yeah, like, I got a pair of them. I have a lot of them. That would be common sense, you know. What do you use for primer on that, Sean? I just use uh, paint on primer all in one. Dylon or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I use the all Regular little plastic primer stuff. Yeah. The combat one, two, three. Hey, what's up? Uh, Jose's asking how Asia T's shipping and prices are. Kevin says they're not bad. Yeah, they're actually not. Like they're they're shipping. You'll get it within two days, three days. They're shipping. Oh fuck! <laughs> it didn't last long. Broke is the... not the blade already. Yeah, broke What's the blade, it? huh? Good job. I have another one, isn't it? Jeez. I don't even know where half of that blade just went. It just went flying. Uh, with the other truck's parts? Probably. Somewhere where, somewhere where by the end of this live stream, I'm going to forget about it. Step on and then I'm going to move something. Find it. Yeah, I'm going to move yeah. something and then it's going to stab me. Yeah. I'd say more than likely that's what's going to happen. Yeah, a few years ago, I was digging around in a drawer looking for colored pencils, and I'm pulling them out, and and it was like, there's one, two left, one, two colored pencils left. I looked down, big scorpion in there. What? I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I didn't get stung by that thing. I'm gone for the hills. <laughs> out of there. Yeah, they're worse than bee stings because you don't know where their stinger's been. Later, Robert. Have a good one. Yeah, Mass Master saying you need a different. They do have different types of exacto knife blades. Different. Yeah. Yeah. yeah these ones are more for like fine. These ones are a number yeah. one. Is Sean know? approved the exacto knife. Yeah. These ones are like a number one or something. So. 
Yeah, those tips, if you're doing anything, seem to break off. Like It's like a sharp yeah. lead in a pencil. Lasts until you're not paying attention and you snap it off. Yeah, so that's the top. That would be the cab. Goes on over like that. Made so nice. And you can also buy, if you don't want the open back, you can actually buy separate this piece to make it a fold. Like you can make it a fold back, you know what I mean? You buy a mm -hmm. separate top. The, it, the truck comes like this, the body comes like this, and then you have this, this cap that goes on. So they do make the one, the same for my D110. I can buy, I can buy this shorter one to D110 to make it an open back as well if I want it. So that's a good option. Like just, you can buy the different. <laughs> On it. That open back looks cool though. Truck back bed. Mm -hmm. I like that. Still, I can tell you where the great narcotic during the book reading class. Yeah, jump book reading class. I was like a wall probably for ninety percent of them. So you know what would probably be better for this? I have Lexan scissors somewhere. Maybe we should use the Lexan scissors and then just trim it with a. Uh, you can kiss them goodbye after a while. Huh? Misusing tools again, I see. I know, yeah. <laughs> but just if I cut it with a little thin piece with the Lexan scissors, I think that would work. I'll send you a link for those clippers, Sean. Yeah. They usually motivate you. Yeah, Red and number 10 scalpel blades mostly. Yeah, because of a lot of a lot of pieces that cut out of this thing. I don't even Scalpel know. Nippers, yeah. Even an old pair of wire cutters, John. You know? I have the uh, I have the cutters for uh, like what do you call it? Pen cutters? Dykes? Um the for like cutting sheetrock stud and stuff like snips. Oh, tin snips, yeah. Yeah, I have like a tin snip line around there somewhere. That might be a little um, XJ, if you're around next weekend, we could go definitely out next weekend because the weekend after that, I'll be in Georgia for the Stone Mountain event. That's um, the, the Honey Lulu and Wayne Kibler event. That'll be in Stone Mountain next. What is that? Uh, Saturday the 15th. So if you're around next week, actually, definitely. We'll go out next week. Yep, at 9.30, I think it starts. Or 9 o'clock. Yeah, 9 a.m. starts for that one. But I'll probably, I think I'll fly down Friday night. Spend Friday night, Saturday. The freaking flights back, though, are like 7 a.m. on on Sunday morning. But then I, I, gotta, I, think that, I think the 15th is Memorial Day weekend. I think so. If it is, and I'm off work the Monday, I might fly back to Monday then. There you Instead go. Of flying back 7 a.m. Sunday yeah. morning. I fly back even because the, the problem with it, they have a later flight, but it's like nine o'clock at night or something. But whatever way it was, or it was even later because I know it'd be Monday morning sometimes. So I'll be flying back and going straight to work if I didn't take the 7 a.m. Sunday flight. Time Looks like May seventeenth tax day. I don't know about Memorial Day. We're doing like, uh, probably like a Wolverine there time. They're going to do a lot right. more crawling on Sunday too. Sure. Right. What's that? So they were going to do a lot more crawling on Sunday too. Yeah, they are. Well, I did. I know. I was talking to Vern last night, and we we're thinking of going to Dragon's Den on Sunday. That place is freaking awesome. Like so. Gotta let you know around Friday. I got oh, my hey, tank. COVID hey, start on Thursday. So gotta wait and see how it fit. No problem, XJ. Yeah, I got mine. Um I got my second one on Friday, just past there. Nothing like it didn't even didn't even feel anything from it. So that's good. Yeah. Some people get a little bit of symptoms, but a little achy or whatever. That's about yeah. it. My ProTac True Torque SL Hacks Drivers Tips snapped. 
like a potato chip. Wow, that's crazy, Jose. I tell you, Jose, if you want really good ones, um, there's a guy that's normally in the chat here, or normally even on the live with us, Brian Taft from RC Pit Products. If you check out, he has some really good, like, hex heads and nut drivers. Was it the, was it the millimeter and a half? I've heard of that happening even oh, with them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Alan from STP, he stabbed himself in the finger and left a chunk of the MIP in there. It might still be in there. He doesn't want to go get it taken out. Doesn't want to go to the. RC you know? McMaster Tank wants to know. Uh, I'll ask him when he comes back. <laughs> RC McMaster says, Why have Tank got a wrench? He doesn't even hit the thumbs up on your video, Sean. Yeah, right. How does he know I don't hit the thumbs up? <laughs> Because he, my, Kevin Gibbs says, because he's a tool like you, Max Master. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only two in there with blue tools, is it? Probably. Well, right now, he's the only, well, I, I know he's, I can't, I have no way to show anything on this. Francois is capable of showing stuff on it, so he's better off having a wrench than me. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you know what I'm actually going to do, guys? Something I should have done a while ago. So, oh, oh you're going to remove all the, the wrench? No, I'm going to. What the heck? Oh, not that I don't know. Let me get my phone a minute to see what's up. It's not. Um... I'm copying all the footage of uh, our little bash this morning. Oh, you had a, a bice this morning, yeah? Yeah, I went to a friend's house that lives about 10 minutes from here um, with the Mini Revo, the Stampede, and the Summits, but I brought my Rockray, so we were having fun. I got to learn how to jump that friggin' Rockray. It, it jumps weird. It always wants to nosedive. Yeah. I got to learn how to control that, it. Uh, that link that I just put in, that's a link to my Teespring. Uh -huh. So the, the link I just put in, that's actually a link to my Teespring, so. Never did find my way there, so. So the, I find out how to do the actual, I find out how to do the actual. Those look cool, man. Yeah. So that's, that's a link. I, at the minute, I just have two shirts up there. I have a couple of other designs I'm put in there at the moment, so. I'm thinking like a, the, uh, Explicit lyrics, parental, straight out of Compton, like NWA kind of thing, you know, the black and white would be cool too. Yeah, yeah. Straight out of Compton. I, I don't go too much like that in case they said, hey, you're infringing on our, like, you know, so that's why I just don't even like the type of style of writing that I've done in it. Okay. The Tank RC, thanks for your video on the Team Rafi car post that you saved me 110 from buying the RC four wheel drive Bam pack Team Rafi post. 85 RC four wheel drive 200. Lift. New tagline, buy merch or else. <laughs> no, I just actually set it up, my master, so. I couldn't even figure out how before today to actually link it to. I didn't know how to ever do it, so I don't care if anybody buys it. Anyone doesn't buy it. Yeah, no problem, Josie. That's why I put those videos up there is to help people out and get them informed. It's nice when you look stuff up on YouTube and have multiple sources on stuff too. Yeah. yeah. We needed you on Big Heads, McMaster. I think we would up with nine trolls we were fanning off one Jeez. got into chat hello well. that's yeah, cool. he leaves his link right up at pinned yeah, yeah he... see, that's that's the thing about Streamyard. i don't know in Streamyard, like here nobody can come into the chat well into the video chat unless i accept them like I know you use StreamYard. Like, well, you know. he does that too with StreamYard. He, you can lock it on on Zoom, and you can actually lock it on StreamYard. Is which means you got to accept the people when they come in. Yeah, 
the problem is somebody was coming in and uh, one of the guys that came in started saying, I got big balls. And then whoop, he kicked him out right away. So like, we don't know what they're going to show once they, they turn on their camera or they come in, they might say something stupid or whatever, but right. it, it, it was just crazy. A lot of people were trying to come in and were saying stupid stuff and good thing. Nobody said anything yeah. or shown anything, but uh, supposedly his link got posted on a gay forum. So it was a bunch of guys that were coming in. So oh, that oh, was so somebody copied. See, that's the worst thing. That's why I don't put the link in the chat. Yeah. That's why I say to people, if you want to come in, send me an email like that. Yeah. I know who you are and I know you're serious about coming in and then I'll send you a link. Yeah. That, that's the same as me. Like yeah. cause a couple of guys emailed me and like, I was like, yeah, no problem. If I have your email, I'll, I'll put you in there. I should actually invite Gaz FPV up one of these days. Guys, how would you feel about coming on alive with us one of these days? You give us a ranch and we'll buy. <laughs> Still don't stop the idiots. Yeah, that's true. Like, but that that's the worst thing. Like if you post a link in the chat, it's like people can just copy it and paste it anywhere they want. So that's why I try not to put it in. His name is a trigger, is the problem. Yeah, big head. <laughs> so I say somebody put it on a on a gay on a gay website. So that right. big head to be to be happy to see. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could go backstage as the host and see the person and make sure who it is before they come in for a moment. Yeah. Cartman from Cartman from South Park was there. And I missed it. Yeah. That's crazy. What night did that happen? Can't remember. It looks like Kevin bought your first shirt. Yeah, Kevin bought one the other day. Thank you very much, Kevin Gibbs. Styling. Yeah, yeah. That's your RC propaganda picture, right? You you won that one month from RC, or is, is it for the calendar, that picture? Which I think it was prop, that picture of your D90 with all the guys working on it for the dollhouse truck. That's your oh, that's RC prop. That's the Range Rover one. Yeah. No, I don't think. Was that the one I won RC prop? I think that was the one I won the RC prop. Yeah. Dance one with. yeah, yeah. I think, it was. I think that's the one I actually I won for Tank's calendar thing as well. I think that's the photo I won for that one. And then the, the straight out of comping one, that's just when I was it looks out over the city there for that one like so I just thought that was funny saying straight out of comping with a thing on it like the the TF2 yeah Sean I'll pop on one day if you want me sweet mate I'll set I'll definitely I'll put you on the invites guys because I have your email so I'll put you on the invite every Sunday 4 30 and then just pop in whenever you feel like it that was sweet to have you in, like, you know. You show your son that picture, Sean? He might be interested in that kind of, because he likes posing the figures in stop motion and stuff. Yeah. Be interested in doing something like that with RC. I was trying to do a backflip on a tree uh, with the rock ray, but the friggin' thing wanted only to climb the tree. Let me turn on the audio. I forgot to turn on the audio. Sure, I should pop in and show my butt or something. People might stop asking then. So there was this tree stump here was perfect. It kind of had a little thing and I was trying to do it, but it kept on climbing the tree. I think I'm working with the geek squad now. I see the mouse going on the place. <laughs> so, <laughs> like it, it was going up there. Too bad I missed it, kind of, but it was all the way. Like this is up four feet up in the air. Yeah. It, was, it wanted to climb the friggin' tree. It was stupid. Guess so. Oh. Must have a lot of power going to the front wheels. Now here's the summit. Come on, cameraman, look at your camera. <laughs> Again, I missed it. Yeah, you did it. Darn. I'm not I used landed to. Landed on a like that. Mass Master, I'll join you for that spot there for the wheeling toys. I'll for that party. Sure. Double flip. Anyways, we had some fun doing all kind of crazy stuff. If you've seen Mass Master's butt, 
you may be entitled to compensate. <laughs> yeah, Miss Master, I'll give Miss Master's dues. Like he, for for somebody that doesn't really do YouTube videos and stuff, man, he moderates a lot of them. But you know what? Yeah. Unless he falls asleep, he's actually a really good moderator. So yeah. Sometimes he has a little accident. He falls asleep and just deletes people's comments as they're coming in. Right. His iPad and his left. Although I can't complain because I think it was RC next Tuesday's <laughs> um, show last week or the week before. I accidentally deleted someone's comments. Coming up. I had to tell him I didn't mean to. Like it was so, like it yeah, just you put, you accident. put you put it in you put him in timeout for five minutes. Yeah, yeah, I put him. Yeah, yeah. I'm time out, like, you know, so. What are you working on anyway, Tank? Wayne's in chat now. Hey, Wayne. Today I'm not working on anything. I just came back from that. Oh, uh, Wayne. Y'all were bashing. Did you just say Wayne's in the chat there? Yes. Wayne, I want to That's what you... I just did. Tank was on load yeah. stuff. Okay. Wayne, I want to show you something fresh. Camera. Stuff. Put it into the top. Yeah. So Wayne, I want to show you something freaking awesome. I won a competition of yours one time for um, for I, I can't remember what it was, but I won. So when you see this, Wayne, the girl that you sent me, she fits perfect in the LC seventy. Cool. And look, looks perfect with a cowboy hat and the dust mask and everything on her. Just suits the part. Like she came with two heads. She came with this head as well. Like the one, the, yeah, the one where spicy with the windows down, like the dust mask. This is really appropriate in the cowboy, and she just she's the perfect size. Like nice. So thank you very much, Wayne. Oh, I came in. I just got to get myself a. As I was saying earlier, I'll get a border collie now for the. I'll get a border collie for the inside, so she'll have a sheepdog beside her or something. Nice. So oh, that is awesome. Yeah, that's Wayne, because I didn't even know of that. I'll tell you what it is. It's um get her a dingo. It's from I don't know. I don't still don't even know what the series is from Westworld or something. Oh yeah. So it's the main character in Westworld. Yeah, so she's the character from Westworld. So that's what Wayne sent me. And I was thinking of like what I could do with her and what I could do. And then she just, she fits so perfect inside that LC70. I was like, perfect. Okay. I love it. You're so welcome. Oh, it looks perfect. Yeah, she just fits dead on, Kevin. It's like crazy. And spicy just that, like, you could have her just looking like that. But when I seen the other head in the in the box with the the cowboy hat and the face cover, and I was just like, "That's perfect." I mean, just makes the LC seventy totally Australian looking. Then, you know, man, there's a lot of these things that cut the freaking cut off the body alone, isn't it? A lot of these things. And why are you not working on anything today? Think no. No, no, no. Nothing broke in the bash last year? Yeah, my, my stampede. I got to get a new body for it, and I landed bad on it. I, I should find the footage and show you. But we were jumping the creek, and I landed right on the pavement on the road, and it kind of landed on the back um, back wheel. But I got those uh, metal dry shaft from Japan or whatever on Amazon. They're like $48 for four of them. So you get the front and the rear for 48 bucks. I said, hey, that's a good deal, but they are weak metal because the back shaft actually bent where the bearing is. It landed wrong on the wheel, and then my my wheel at the back is crooked now. So I got to take it out, see if I can bend it back, or just buy a new dry shaft at the back. So gotcha. sometimes you pay cheap instead of paying a hundred bucks for the front and a hundred bucks for the rear. You pay forty eight by forty eight bucks, but <laughs> it don't last that long. Yeah, depends on what you're going to use it for, I guess. You know, bash hard. That's what I just did to my stampede. I jumped off something and landed right on the front tire, and bent the shock, and broke the bolt holding the shock uh, safety thing in, and all kinds of stuff. 
Well, we first thing we got there was the E Revo. We played with little mini E Revo. We had three of them. So mine was not bad, but all of a sudden I had no more steering at all. And my server was still turning, but my server saver was kicking in. Like, what the heck? Like, it's the first time. And I just put some new RPM uh, knuckles there. So they were too tight, I guess not using it or whatever. So I had to loosen them up a little bit. Uh, so right after I fixed it, I had it on the table and I went like this, watch this. So I said, ah, let me make something special. I'll fix and come off the table. Watch that right, right off the table after fixing it. You guys all see that? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. There we go. All fixed. <laughs> That's there a fail. Was. Let's try that again. <laughs> Let's try that again. All Didn't fixed. Work. Oh, that one was better. <laughs> yeah. So we had three of them. Look at that, a baby summit. Mini summit and uh, little mini. They're fun. They're a lot of fun. Kevin Gage said, I have a bird called with the navigator. I don't have any dog model, so I use a canine instead. Oh, yeah. So Apu makes incredible animal figures. Yeah, Kevin gives, um, what do you call Michaels actually has some nice animal figures in it too. Hobby Lobby. The, the ones in Hobby yeah. Lobby, I, I don't, I, I think the ones in Michaels are way. Tractor way Supply. Better. Tractor okay. Supply has some animals, a lot of good animals. I just ordered some A arms for my stampede. Oh, yeah? RP, RPMs because that broke that little pin in there or that bolt couldn't get it out. Okay. Here's the aftermath of my tire at the rear. So I put Japanese knockoff dry shafts on here. They were like on Amazon, $40 for a set of four. And this is what happens when you pay $40. You get what you pay <laughs> for. The dry shaft is actually bent. The one dry shaft is gone. That's crazy. So, yeah. I was, I was still. I was still. Nice waiting time. RC McMaster says, I like the smaller scale summit better than the bigger one. The reference rate on the video totally missed with my eyes. I didn't know there was two different size of summits. That's the worst thing about all these little tabs now trying to level out everywhere where they're freaking on, you know? It's a so little brushless. So what are you going to do tank? Going to put the stock ones back on? I uh, might put the plastic ones back on, but uh, my uh, next door neighbor has a forge. So I'm going to bring it there and heat, heat it up and see how, try to straighten it up a little bit. Uh, I'm not competi competing with this thing. So I'm, I'm going to try, try to straighten it up a little bit with this forge. Uh, even my next door neighbor says, well, we'll heat it up and then we can dip it again to make it stronger. So right. uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'll try to fix it. If I can't, well, I'll put another dry shot back there. Might go back with the plastic one. That's or, cool. He got the forward set up already, yeah? Yep, yep. Awesome. Do the RPMs make the dry shafts? No. I, I would never no. be out of this garage. Hey, can you forge this? Hey, can you forge that? Hey, look at this design. <laughs> Want practice? <laughs> Brandon, propaganda. Hey, RC propaganda. Welcome. Yeah, that Archie propaganda. That that um that body you put on the on the Losi that pickup truck, like the purpley blue one. That thing looks sick, bro. I think it was the LMT you put it on, not the not the SMT. I think it was the LMT. So this is what we were doing, and that's where I I bent the um, the shaft. He had that Bret Hart body, I know. I don't know if that's the one you're talking about. 
Yeah, he just he, he put some on it. I don't think it's a hard body. Maybe it is a hard body. I'm not sure. It's hard no, body. no, Bret Hart, the wrestler. I think that, that was one of the bodies he had for it. A pink body. It was. He... Oh, okay. Okay. This is where I think I, I bent it because I landed wrong. We try, I tried to do a double shot, but I, I took it here, which was really on an angle. So it threw everything off. Okay. That's where I landed really bad. Ready, set, go. Welcome in, Jessica's two car garage. Hey, Jessica, welcome. Welcome. Thank you, Keegan, for being on the chat. Thank you. So, when was that today? Can I just go there? Yeah, just this morning. From got there, it was 11 30. Nice. It's good to see no snow on the ground. Oh, yeah. It's been a bit. Of, there's been no snow. It was really warm. The snow went really fast, which was good, and no flood, which was good. But uh, th this past week was wet and cold. It was crazy. It, it's as if uh, spring was coming back and, like said, we're, I'm not finished with you yet. So Yeah, th this week in New York was insane. Like, Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday was like 80 degrees. Tuesday, I think it was like 80-something degrees. Okay. Wednesday morning, I woke up and it was freaking snowing. Yep. Like, you know, and then Thursday was in the 70s again. Friday was back down into like the 40s. It was the strangest week. Hmm. But then global warming doesn't exist. Hmm. It's messed up down here in Texas, too. Hail and rain and all kinds of crap. Yeah, Texas is good until they have a blackout. <laughs> yeah. They can't even light their own freaking state. That's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, I knew there was more places. Uh, there, there does be a lot of prep for these freaking things, don't there? Yeah, I remember how long it took you to do those other bodies, man. Yeah, I know. At least this one, I don't think I'm going to do the clear matte lacquer. Right. <laughs> uh, that, that, I wanted to just cry that day when that happened. Like, mm hmm. Done the sure lock your hobby room door for a couple days. I know. Man, I don't know what was the interaction because like, we were both the same manufacturer of paint. And when I done the when I done the D one ten, and then I done the clear lacquer. Whatever happened, the clear lacquer turned the paint all white spots everywhere. I'm wondering if being maybe it's an enamel paint with a lacquer clear lacquer, and it should have been a lacquer paint and a lacquer. Yeah, but they're them same. Enamel. Man, I used the same manufacturer. Yeah, same manufacturer, but different type of uh, paint, so, enamel and lacquer. That's probably what happened. What it was, I think what it was is because the camel paints are like a, an ultra. Like they're ultra flat or something, so I think it just had some sort of reaction. But I couldn't believe it. Like just after I finished the whole thing, like and I had to go and sand the whole bloody thing back down again. Mm -hmm. This was seventy a few days ago. This week only sixties now though. Yeah, California's got some fires going again. Yeah. See. It does, and weather's changing. Yeah, propaganda. You'll be you'll be flat out with a black top again in the next week or two. I'm sure. Like I'm sure we're not. When the weather picks up like this, the black top goes like crazy. What what you fixing to paint that on? You know, I have a really nice um uh, like pumpkin orange or something they call it. Nice. Yeah, and I'll do it orange, and then that that's a good thing about it. Like you don't really have to mask off because yeah. this piece comes separate, so I'll just spray this whole piece black. So then you'll have the orange or the black. Once you put it on, you'll have like this yeah, piece the, rear, the, the rear has to be the same color as your truck, though. The rear What's part, that? the rear part where the windows are, where it goes around. Yeah, that this part, this color. part will be orange here. Yeah. Lower part. This okay. part up here will be black. But then I'll almost, do, I'll do a black bed in here. Well, just yeah. this part of the bed down. Here, maybe the steps. I'll do black, hmm. and then the rest of it will be orange around it too. So, so everything. Everything from here, like so look at that side, from here around will be black. And then on these side parts here up will be orange. So like the panels. That top piece you put on almost looks like a soft top convertible. Oh, uh, this piece? Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that's how it. it's got the bumps in it. Yeah. So the, the reason they the re what I was explaining earlier, the reason they do this is because you can buy a separate top piece that allows you to have a full back bed if you want it. So if you don't want to use this, you just buy the other one and have the back all closed in. But I have enough of them all closed in, so I want it one. I want it one open, so then I'll turn this. This one's going to become a racker truck. So this will be a nice six by six recovery truck. This, like I bought a different, not a, it wasn't a Tonka truck. What was the name of that? Night Nut, Nutley or Nutley or something? Is it? That was a weird name. I forget. Yeah, it's a weird name. So I bought a, I bought a whole truck just to strip, just to strip that freaking tow part out of it. So I'll put some winches on that. I'll have it all winching and going. So there is lights for it too. So like this is the like the orange lights that'll go on top of it and all then too. So yeah, so then it'll have the slicing orange lights up there. I have some nice decals in mind that I'll reach out the 307 scoot to make. I'll reach out the 307 scoot and I'll have them I'll have him make the decals for me, you know. So well. But I gotta figure out, I gotta convert this 1900 box. So I'll end up mounting this to the 1900 box. And then I'll modify the box to fit in the back. And then underneath this, I'll probably hide the winches and stuff. I will be able to fit one winch in here, but I'll need two separate winches, one to lift it up and down, and then one to go in and out as well. So I'll probably hide one winch under this box and then put another winch up. So the winch maybe to go out will be up in here, and the winch to go up and down maybe I'll hide under here so the lead fret comes up over like this or something. Bit of sinking and getting it operating yet, like so. Eleven Charlie, welcome in. How's everything? Yep, no. But you can a light blue make a golf truck. Like that. Yeah, that would that would be cool, like the the orange and the light blue. So uh, get the, get get through seven scoot to do the. Get to seven scoot to do the what do you call it the the golf stickers then or something. But it should be it should be an interesting one. Right? The chassis for it is like really great, like all metal. There's a the weight of this thing is like ridiculous. Like everything is metal. Like, e like even the oh, even wow, the engine that, caps. Man. Like the 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 engine you think is plastic, but this is actually all aluminum. The whole the whole engine block is actually aluminum, which is crazy. Like the, to machine all that instead of just pl making plastic molds. I don't, I don't know about these reservoir shocks, though. I might get rid of these reservoir shocks. Just put different shocks. Because it also has, it's also leaf sprung as well. Okay. So you also have the leafs and the reservoir shocks. Yeah, them shocks look kind of big for it. Yeah. But just the, the top part for the yeah. reservoir. Yeah. Just really annoying. So I might, I, might get, I might leave them on the front and get rid of them on the back and put some different ones on the back. I don't know yet. We'll see. Because they fit the body fits perfectly with them like that as well. If you de-anodize the red or something, it wouldn't be as noticeable. Yeah, that's the thing. Like they stick out like a sore thumb, you know. But they, they mightn't stick out as bad whenever the, the body paint of the orange and the everything too. True. No, so I don't know if I have any yeah, because you want the guys to look at your work, not the shocks, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like the high shocks. So th this, my intentions 
right now is this will be one of my USD builds, but knowing me, if it's ready well before that, I'm sure it probably won't make USD in really good condition. Like, you know, because one thing I don't have is shelf queens. Build them, I'm bruising. Well, you got to have a, the tow truck's got to be beat up a little bit. So. Yeah. It's got 10 months to work on it. Yeah, that's it. Man, I have all that, I have all the stuff under my desk. See, so this is the other, this is the other boom racing one. That's the D110 from boom racing. Yeah, I've seen that on one of your, couple yeah. of your videos. That's the, that thing is like, the weight of that is ridiculous as well. This that's the one, one their code issues on. Yeah, so everything opens on that one as well. Like they, the doors all open, the back door even opens. So that that one's a, even the hood opens on that one too. Like so. Yeah. And so, that's another boom racing one as well. Ice springs with shocks. That those are the shocks right now. I'm using. They look, they look smaller. They look more scale. So they look they look nice. That's on the Winnebago. That's what you have. That's the ones you were doing last night, Tank. Yeah. 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 Are those Viterra shocks? I forget what type, what type I they were. I can't remember what they are. I think they are Viterra shocks. The one sixteenth, I think. I gotta look up on the the website, uh, Chris website, and see which one he actually orders. Because that came as a kit from him. He says, "Here, this is all you need to build it." So okay. I don't even know where they came from. Right. Internal spring shocks might be a better choice, Sean. Um, get rid of the, get rid of the reservoir shock, but a dual shock system on each wheel. Yeah, can dual shock system might be a bit heavy though, considering it has the leaf springs as well. Hmm. So with the, I don't know if you can see the leaf are on it with the wheels on it. Yeah, so there yeah. it has all the leaf springs as well. So, you can get air ride system for it. Yeah. Compressor and all that crap. What a right system is crazy money though. Right. Like the tractor trailer. Yeah, that's like crazy. But uh, the Winnebago sits way better now that I've put more leaf springs in the back. So it sits nice and straight now. Before it used to sag down a little bit at the back. Now it's nice and straight, which I like. How's it look with the new tires too? Uh, with the new foam. Yeah. yeah nice they look good nice so, and stiff i did put it back on the shelf but i put it upside down on the shelf because those are they are stiff tires but they could become square so i just put it put the winnebago upside down on the shelf oh, would you not put it on like a yoga block or anything no uh, most of all my trucks are yes but that's like i was weighing it yesterday the winnebago guess how much it weighs 14 14. 14.14 Oh, oh, that yeah, that'll flatten the tires. Yeah, because that that D one ten, that boom racing one, that's so heavy. Like the yoga block that it's sitting on is starting to get like oh, yeah. all out of shape. Even the yoga block. And, and that's, that's why, why this, like... one, this one I actually have on a, I had it on a proper stand. Like, so. they do sell a cork yoga block. It's a little bit more at Walmart, but it might be okay. dense enough not to squish. But the Winnebago is square, so like the roof is a little bit of an oval, but it fits perfectly on the shelf, no matter which way you put it. But like laying upside down, it's perfect. It don't need a block for that. And if you want any yoga block, if you want any yoga blocks, RC Pet Products, they stand for the house. Go check out RC Pet Products. You get yourself some cool yoga blocks. All right. That's for time and Brian. Huh? Excellent. Thank you very much, Sean. <laughs> uh -huh. How's everything, Brian? What are you working on? I uh, am working on my UMG 10. I finally got those portal axle kit. Cool. So we'll see how that works. Then, yeah. Nice. I don't that's, know. that's the one you just convert your ordinary axles. You yeah, see? you just pull out the old axles and uh, you just insert this in. Nice. Yeah, I'm interested to see how they work. Because I was looking at them myself, like too. So. Yeah, I. I'm not sure how well they're going to work. I'm not even sure if there's a reduction. Okay. So. 
I'm I'm taking them apart right now to make sure that they're greased. So. Hey, thank you very much, Javier. That's a good idea. Almost the advantage shirt. Seattle ordered his. Kevin Good said, uh, "What Kevin Good said? You're late, Javier. Ordered mine yesterday." <laughs> That's the link, um, Kagan to RC Pet Products. Yeah, yep. sweet, awesome. Yeah, guys, as I said, RC Pet Products, he does really good nut drivers and stuff as well. Actually got an order set now soon myself. So that's before I change the tires. My old dynamites are starting to get... Oh, yeah. My old dynamites are wearing down, you know? You freak me out, Tank. I think I'm working with uh, the Geek Squad when you do that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, brother. How do you how do you do the links, Kagan? Oh, Kagan can do them, Kevin, because he's a moderator. He can, he can do them because he's a moderator. So hold on, I didn't realize Kevin Gibbs, because you're always in my stuff. Hold on. He yeah, just copy and paste stuff, and then he just copies. Learned it. So Kevin Gibbs, ad moderator. So you're next. If you want to put a link or something in, Kevin, now the next time you chat, you'll be a big blue tool as well i like the one that says i love the yankees peanut butter and all <laughs> that's not look red Sox all the way man red Sox all the way do your link up for your t-shirt to get in there too yeah yeah none of that none of that yankee stuff let me actually turn that camera a little bit this way yeah no no that's why ac froggies was in earlier he's in Man, the garage he was in is a friend of his. So next week on next week on my Sunday chat, AC Froggies will be coming live from that guy's place. He's doing a garage sale as well. But some of the stuff in that guy's garage, he's got stuff. Brad would be like salivating the amount of Tamiya stuff in there, and he's got stuff. He still got stuff in boxes. He still got stuff. That and that's what I said. Yeah. And that's what I said to AC Froggy, be prepared for me to tell you, set that one aside or set that one aside and then just ship it. <laughs> no. Did you um, guys see that company in the UK that's actually, uh, Tamai gave them the rights to build a one-to-one -one production yeah. wild one? Yeah. What? No way, yeah. yeah. Yep. That would be sick. Yeah. Um, it's, I, I think it's, I think it was in, I'm not sure if it was American dollars or not, but it was eight thousand bucks. No, that's not bad. Eight thousand for the rights. It's not bad yeah, with a motor. No, uh, to actually purchase one. Oh, eight thousand to purchase one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can share the link or not. So where do we go for shopping for tools? Oh, he's sold out on shock pliers. Oh no, I'm not. I'm sorry. I I need to take care of that. So he'll take care of that. They are in stock, right? So I think the I think them shot players are the ones that AC Froggy got as well. Yeah, he bought a pair. Yeah, it's something personally that I've never actually I've never actually used once in my life. I've never used shot players. So. Yeah. There's the one I want to get. Yeah. Yeah, those are nice. So there's no gear reduction inside of, inside of these portals. They're oh, no, exactly the no. same tooth. Wow. Okay. No. I didn't think I was going to get a reduction. Yeah. But at least now I don't have to worry about screwing around with the transmission. Yeah, mm. that's the thing. Uh, you don't have to mess with any of it. Like, so. Yeah. Yeah. RC parts. What kind of RC parts do you have? Generic RC parts. I don't really carry anything for any specific brand except for the WPL stuff. Yeah, this is not bad. Sample, like, yeah, Sample Geese, he's over in Scotland. He said Street Legal Wild One, too. This is pretty good. Pretty one. good price. ARC yeah, that's a pretty good price. You get two of them. Yeah, you get two of them for five bucks. Usually you pay like 10 bucks at the hardware, at the hobby store. Yeah. 10, 12 bucks for one. Yeah, for 25T, yeah. Body, body clips, body clips. I see Voodoo. 
Voodoo, are you coming on May 15th? Are you coming to Honolulu's event? I hope so. At this point in time, I'm going to say no, but that doesn't mean that it's it's not 100% no. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, that's it. I know. Yesterday, it looks like an awesome place. So I think I'm going to actually end up bringing the two TF2s. I don't right. think I'll have... I'll have the I'll have the LC seventy ready in time, but I just I wouldn't have done any testing with it. I wouldn't have so I'd have to go all the way there with a truck mm-hmm. that I haven't even run yet or anything, and then something happened it and then I'm freaking stuck with it. I know tons of people have trucks that'll lend me one, but it's you'd have to go all the way there and then end up with no truck. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's these parts ready for sanding. Let me see what else is in the box of duty. Uh, you RC pit product, you even have some nice little light bars there that are a pretty good price. Yeah, those are actually the same light bars that uh, Team Associates sells. I I just happened to find the same vendor in China that they buy from. Nice. Nice. So I'm going to try to share this screen. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Yeah, down, at the, down at the bottom, it should say share screen. The tank yeah. is good at that. The tank share screen is constantly there. Like so. uh, sorry about that. No, it's nice. Barbecue, welcome. Hello, fellow banters. Hello, hello, hello. So hmm. I think I'm going to go upstairs and uh, let my son trim my hair with the trimmer. <laughs> You're looking like Wolverine at the moment, you know? Yeah, I know. So come up, loading Gmail, it says. Yeah. Uh, I get I I have the link in my in my email. I sent it to myself. I don't know, it's oh, just not coming up. What is that the link for that one over in the UK? No, no, that's that's your link for your. No, I know, but it's, uh, you're looking for the link for the one in the UK, yeah? No, well, I sent the link to my email. Yeah, yeah. And it's oh, there we go. This is like watching paint dry. I <laughs> know. Yeah, it's taking forever. I bought a new 3D printer. What did you get? So I got another Corality. Um, but I got I got the uh, CR6 SE, which has got the auto leveling beds on it, so you don't have to do that anymore by your take a piece of paper, lower, lower the print head, slide it underneath and then adjust these dials at the bottom of the bed. It just sucked. Yeah. So um, the problem I'm having is the software that came with it and the new software from Kira doesn't want to load on my, damn, I lost a bearing. It doesn't want to load on my laptop. I keep getting an error and uh, I don't know what's going on, so. Yeah. Uh, trying to work it out. Better get the webinator, Frank. Yeah. Kevin Hope all as well. Straight razor, that head buff. <laughs> Kevin Gibbs is saying you got a straight razor, tank, and buff it, and wax. Can you see that now? Yep. Is it coming up? Well, no, I don't. 
It says it is based on the groundbreaking radio control oh. Dune buggy from 1985. That's all we can see, just whatever writing is on there. It's still loading. I don't know what's going on. I guess my internet is slow. Yeah. Heard that. Tank shows off of his big, fast, fancy internet, you know? Yeah. What is your internet tank? What is it you use? It's fi uh, fiber. Oh, you're using fiber. Yeah, I got uh, 500 megs up, 500 megs down. Yeah. That's crazy. Man, there's yeah. a lot of little details in that back door. All the little, little axes and everything on it. Little, like, nuts and, <laughs> little nuts and bolts parts. It's pretty cool, like, even the latch is pretty cool. I'm holding my Umbro uh, new. So it's actually a eighth, tenth scale version. It's not a one to one. It's an eighth scale. Okay, like a go kart. Eighth, tenth it. scale. Yeah. Like a, yeah, like a dune buggy or something. Like a go kart frame or something. There's a picture. It looks like it. it's part of Some the picture. Yeah. There it goes. What's it based It's on pretty cool. Else? Oh, yeah. The Fiat 500 and what as uh, a Volkswagen Golf. That's about uh, as long. I'm driving one. That's pretty cool, though. Almost looks like my old Doom buggy. I had a rail for a long time. Street. I wonder how much they. Yeah. I wonder how much they sold the licensing license to this company for. Don't Tamaya know. isn't typically cheap. Oh, how much Tamaya charged them for the license? Yeah. Probably a lot. Like, look how much they charge for their freaking steel vehicle. No <laughs> motor in it yet, though. You know? But actually, you'd, you'd, be, you'd never know because it's actually doing Tamaya a favor, too, as people talking about their as in people talking about their doom buggies too. Mm -hmm. They've done a lot of Hot Wheel cars in one-to-one. -one. I don't know if you have to get the license for that or not. So here's the, the link I have is from car, car, Cars Scoop. Car scoop. Okay. And, um, there is a little bit of description on that, and uh, here's the a good picture of it. Uh, and uh, let me go over here. There's a picture you were trying to show. So that's another one in the garage. Yeah. Oh, it's a single seat too. That's eh. that is a single you need, seat. You need someone riding with you so you like, you can scare them, man. <laughs> so, but isn't uh, the original one a single seat? Yeah, it's based on that. So yeah, yeah, there it is. So they got the stickers and things like that. So. There, it's gonna be cool, but I don't know how many people are gonna jump on it. It's like a little go kart. Yeah. Here's a picture of my, me and my doom buggy. Awesome. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. Street legal, man. Oh, yeah? 65 miles an hour. It's as fast as I could go, but I used to drive it on 35 and highways and everything. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, the Wild One Max could should cost eight thousand two hundred and fifty dollars when it lands in twenty twenty two. They're fun in the rain. Mm. Brad would lose his mind. <laughs> yeah, Brad would lose his mind. Yeah. Imagine pulling up outside Brad's house and one of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brad, look what I got. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's one big to me. Yeah, it's in the UK as well, guys. So it's somebody in the UK that's actually building them. $8,000 if you want one. 
You know, it's actually not bad considering it's three and a half thousand dollars for a raminator. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Never thought of it that way. Yeah. That's actually eight thousand is actually not that bad for a tomato that you could actually get in and drive. I bought mine for a thousand five hundred and beat it. Hot wheels to those cars as well. Sold it for I don't know, three thousand. Okay. Man, there, there, there is some amount of cotton, like all the stuff that gets off the part trees. And there's a lot of like splatters on this thing or something. Probably a lot of sand in it. In this, some, I don't know if they show up in the camera, but there's crazy markings on the door. Could look cool, actually, if you painted it into it, because it looks like a splatter. Hmm. Might look cool if you paint it into it. You make it like a blood splatter. Yeah. Guy ran over the wooden pay for his toe, so. <laughs> yeah. Got to run right over. Yeah. You going to have anything towing it? Yeah, well, I'll probably tow one of my SAX Jeeps or something, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Or something. I don't know, do some some recovery videos with it or something too, you know. That's a good thing about being able to drive two trucks at once. So I could drive one and crash it and then drive the recovery truck straight in without having to go and change remotes or anything. I did a towing video one time and I'm like, why is this truck ain't towing right? Well, you know, I had it shut off and the drag brake was still on and everything. So I was like, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Was it free wheeling? So that buggy, that uh, Tamaya buggy, is going to be an electric buggy. It's going to be electric. Yep. Yeah, it's got a motor on it, but it regenerates a brake regeneration charging system. That's what I read. Top top speed of forty eight kilometers an hour, thirty thirty miles an hour. Peak power is four kilowatt, with a range of forty kilometers. Uh, and there's lots of hop ups, including faster top speed. It's only got a 25 mile an hour range at the moment, though. Uh, 25 mile an hour or 25 miles is the range on it. I tell you, sitting down at 65 miles an hour in a dune buggy, it's pretty fast. Yeah, the tire is right next to your ear, mm-hmm. like woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> you ranch cabin, you bought a t shirt. Pay to pay to play, guys. I thought you did want to post a link, Kevin. That's why you were asking. Because that's you have to have the blue wrench to post a link. So I thought you were looking to post the link. Oh man. The problem with the electric motors, you can't go into parking lots and sound off all the karma lars, you know. Yeah, yeah. I used to drive through there with my stinger on my doom buggy and it was so loud all the alarms would go off in the cars. Uh, the vibrations of it setting off all the car alarms. Oh, yeah. I, I just shared this link, and this is the link where to actually place a pre order by for a hundred. Uh, they're asking a hundred uh, francs, I guess, or the, whatever this. hundred sterling, probably. Yeah. yeah. So if you pay that, uh, you will get a pre order. They'll put you on the list. Uh, they're thinking it's going to be about 6,000 sterling. So uh, you can put your name on the list uh, to get your yours delivered to you. And it looks like you can build it, then drive it. So probably going to. Oh, it's a kit. Yep. Oh, I didn't uh, realize that. Yep. Um, big kit. That's a big Tamiya box. To put the. the <laughs> kind of need to be strong to carry that one. What yeah. if that showed up at Brad's house? And there's some specification here of of the motor yeah. I was reading. So it is, and then they also have a little Tamiya Wild One promo in '85. So I wonder if Brad's silver can would work with that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hop up. A silver can's a good motor. Okay, let's see if it'll work with this box. Brad just got sent to your house. 
Yeah. I don't think that's going to fit on his front porch. Yeah. Yeah, I used to make the neighbors mad. I'd get up at 7 o'clock in the morning, start that thing up, go to work. <laughs> I kill you. <laughs> yeah. We live in a duplex, too, so my garage was right next to their bedroom door. Oh, what? <laughs> right next to their bedroom window, yeah. Yeah. You show up with that box, uh, the Tamiya kit box or whatever, that big one with Brad. Uh, it's just like barbecue says, Brad would need CPR. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised Brad isn't all over that one. Hmm. Uh, he sent me three emails today. Go watch this video. Go watch this video. Send it to Brett. Like, yeah, as if I'm going to start. You should, send, you should send him that one. How come you didn't tell me about this, Brad? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I sent them an email stipulating, go to this link and click on register, okay, to win a Red Cat, uh, Red Cat um, uh, 64. Oh, yeah. And he goes, I don't understand what you want me to do. I, I don't understand these things. <laughs> well, you just read the email, like you've got to enter your name, your email address and send. That's it. That's the only thing you have to do. Put your name and email address and hit send. I don't understand. Okay, then I guess you're not registering. So. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can forget it. Well, who's running that competition thing? Oh, it's over now. Somebody actually won it. Yeah. It was Red Cat directly. Nice. That was yeah. funny on Thursday when you uh, muted Brad and then talked to Sang about having a Tamiya night. <laughs> I saw Brad like looking for a mute on his phone. Can you imagine? I'd be like, oh my God, that would be painful. Well, I... I after they started talking about one of those Tamiya kits and both of them were going back and forth. Oh yeah. This kit was this, this kit was that, this kit was this. And I'm there. Okay. If I do a night like this, a Tamiya night, it's going to be you two talking, not me. Like yeah. I, I, I know nothing, not, not as deep as you, as they do about the conversation. So I'm there thinking in my head, okay, how am I going to do this? If my video is there, I'm going to be there too much. So I need to like, I need to think about this. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm going to be the moderator and they're going to be talking kind of. So there you go. Just be a moderator. Yeah. Yeah. But the, but the CR, the CR1 chassis didn't come like the M6. <laughs> it has two millimeter longer wheelbase. Like, you got 90 so seconds for your rebuttal, Fred. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the silver can shaft was one millimeter thicker than the outside. <laughs> I, I guarantee you the both of them would probably know all of that stuff too. That's the saddest part of it. They probably wouldn't know all of that. Oh man, I got a lot of sanding to do, it looks like. What do you use 600? What's that? What do you use 600 wet and dry? Or? No, I'll use, I'll start with 400, then I'll go 600, and then I'll go a thousand or something. So. Yeah. Depends on how fine you really want it to look like, you know. Yeah, a thousand is pretty fine if you're going to yeah. put paint on it. Yeah. Cool, it even comes with a the, the, like reset gas tank and everything. Solar okay. cap. Yeah. So all... Might as well have Brad host the tank. Yeah, totally. Could you imagine? That'd be like, that would be painful. Oh, look at that. I nearly, nearly threw that out there with a piece still inside the bag. That's how it happens. That's the piece you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's a little... All the time. Yeah, it's a little piece for the metal console. So it pops up and down. And the... Always looking in the garbage for something. So is this... 
is this? So if this is like this, awesome. This is actually right hand drive straight out of the bat. Oh yeah. Awesome. Uh -huh. That is awesome. Don't have to change anything out of that. Kevin says he uses 3,000 for primer and 6,000 for color. Oof, man, that is going really fine. But I guess, as they say, the devil's in the detail. No. I just don't have the patience to go with that fine. No, so. You're yeah. saying after you, after you painted it, you go back over the paint? One to one, yeah. they do that. We only use like 600 and 400 and then spray it and then 2000 to buff it out. Yeah, I don't even like honestly, I don't even prime a lot of my rigs. I just buy the paint that has the primer already in it. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he waxes his bodies when he's done too. Put some ceramic coating on it or something. That'd be wicked. You can even guide coat it. You spray it down with primer and then you put a light coat of regular paint on it. And you sand it out, and that takes all the scratches out. Man, this is getting. This is going to have a lot of work. I don't know what color to do that interior. Yeah, so I don't know if I just do it black with the red seats, or do I do, I do it like a a sand, like do the dice board, like a desert sand color, mm -hmm. red seats, or, and have the inside door, have the inside door panels match and whatever color do the dice board, you know? The, good, the, the nice thing, the red, the red seats give you, the red seats give you more options anyway, like, you know, so. Here's mine. Oh, nice. They're still in the box time. Yeah, but I did. I did prime it. It's prime black now. Instead, I know. Of Are you ever going to start building that body? There's a lot of building to do in that. Yeah, but what is I, that body tank? That's the Range Rover body. Oh, the original Range Rover. Uh, problem is, I don't have a, a frame for it yet, so that's why I'm not in a rush of building it because uh, I don't have the frame. But well, uh, are you not going to use the? You're going to use the Enduro at one time, right? Yeah. Well, I do. I do have my. Uh, my enduro here, uh, which has the original blue body. Like I do have this one that has this body and I could basically just put the other one on. Uh, yeah. It's doable and feasible, but I like keeping stuff original. So uh, I do not have an SEX 10 2. So uh, that's why I'm thinking of getting the SEX 10 2 Pro Builders kit. Yeah, because the interior for that thing is made to fit around the SCX 10 too. Okay. Like if you do, if you put it on a TRX4, or you put it on something, you have to modify. They give you a template because the battery trays and the and the engine is different on the TRX4. So you have to modify the interior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you put it on an SC, like mine, I showed you my Range Rover over the, yep. my camera, the yellow one over there. Mm -hmm. That one right over there, that's on an SEX stand too, chassis. Welcome in, Kurtz. Kurtz RCs. Well, it's yeah, they give you a lot of different wheelbases too on the SEX 10 too. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the worst thing about this white table. Like you can't see all of these parts don't show up. <laughs> it's all white. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy amount of parts here. Cool. So it's six o'clock. I'm going to leave you guys and I'm going to go have supper. No problem. Thanks. Thank you. Good night, Tank. Later, and don't forget to thumbs up the video. Right on. Good night. Thank uh -huh. you. Bell up to take the daughter to work in five hours. No problem, Sam. Thanks for stopping in, man. Glasgow's in the house. I did. I have started watching just before you do leave. I have started watching your um your your um, last video there, the SCX ten two with the what's it called? You have the power wagon body on it. Those look really good. Yeah. I'll just leave. I'll leave all these pieces on that one for now. Probably just paint them on it because it might be easier to to just hold it and spray these. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. Possibly to lose them. Yeah. 
You can friggin' take all of them off next minute. I'll be running looking because even gives you the handbrake, even with a little push button on the end of it and everything. Like, nice. Like, they, they oh, do, like, I, I will give them. I will give between boom, between boom racing and team Rafi, like they definitely go into the, they go into the details. Like, cause boom racing normally makes the chassis, and team Rafi makes the bodies for their chassis. So between the two of them, that's where they go. Although this one, I will say, um, where's the top of this box? Normally, normally all my, normally all my Team Rafi stuff comes with a Team Rafi sticker on it. This time it came with JCRC Hobbies. I think that might be JG. Yeah, or JG, whichever it is. Yeah, JG RC Hobbies. I don't know why this time it didn't come with the team Rafi. I guess this is because I know this is the original guy that made them. So maybe they just had, maybe they'd run out of the team Rafi one and they just sent this one like so. Because that, that's actually also the difference as well. Like, and I'm actually glad they sent me that one. If you get the team Rafi one, it has the black seats. But if you get this one, it has the red seats. So I'm actually glad they sent me this one because I got the red seats. Hopefully the black seats didn't turn red over a long time that it sat on a shelf or something. Yeah, yeah. Because that's, that's what the the D one ten that has the black seats. So it is. Mm -hmm. But when they advertise it, when you say it advertised, it's advertised with the red seats. But that's the J whatever G and J R C Hobbies one has the the red seats. Okay. It was just it was weird just to not actually receive it with a team Rafi like sticker on it if you know what I mean. Right. I remember you mentioning that. There's a team Rafi body, but yeah. No box it's mentioned that it's team Rafi. Yep. So I'm gonna have plenty of plenty of work ahead. Yeah, you're gonna have to do two nights a week, pull doubles. Yeah. But this is only, as I said, like this is only one of the builds for UST. And then I have, and in saying that, the likelihood of this making it in good condition for UST is probably slim to none. I'll probably have to start a whole new build around Christmas time, maybe or something. <laughs> well, right. Because the one, the ones under the desk, it's gonna take a while to build. Yeah. You got to find a body for that raw builder's kit now. I know. I'll probably order. Um, I'll probably order Club Five Racing. Uh, I'll probably order Therapy. Club Five Racing Comanche body or something. Thanks. Probably just order for it. It doesn't have. Don't need to. I wish it had opening doors and stuff like, but it doesn't. So I'll just. I'll do it. And I'll put small tires on it too. I'll put. Right. Yeah, you know, I'll put like. I don't know, maybe I'll get another set of them. Boom Racing Hustlers. Or Kevin Gibbs actually got the... Kevin Gibbs got the the Mickey Thompson Bajas, the 3.75s, the small ones. He said they look really nice in person. So maybe I'll get a set of them for the for the Comanche or something. Um, to keep it low. That's thing. They make a sweet interior for the power wagon. Yeah. It's definitely one of Proline's better bodies. Yes, it too. Uh, it's all right, wagon, guys, yeah. I have things I should be doing. No problem, Jessica. Thanks for hanging out for a while. We're here every Sunday evening. I just bought the 66 Ford Proline. Really thin for my basher. It's already cracked bad a couple of places. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing with them Lexan bodies, you know. Yeah, sometimes they got spots in the mold where it pushes so far that it's thin. Yeah. Not in the mold or whatever, but stretching process. Yeah. That's, a, that, that's a good thing with these. Like, honestly, I only have two Laxan. I only have two Laxan bodies left. And I will get that down to no Laxan bodies. Well, I, I put it on my stampede. I gotta finish what I'm doing first, man. I gotta 
I'll finish the LC70 Wednesday night. I'll do, I'll probably do something where I'm building that BRX01 chassis. Um, I'll build that. I'll finish the LC70 so I can set it to the side completely when I do the chassis. And then I'll order the, you can see sitting right over there is the raw builder's kit. Yeah. Built and built the axial one, so I'll probably order a Comanche body fit because that was that was originally going to be for the LC70. Then it wouldn't do the LC70 justice without having the proper chassis on it. So that one's going to be for axial fest. And then I don't know if I should bring the I don't know like the yellow. Let me see. Turn that around. So the yellow, the camel truck over there that. That would actually qualify in Axial Fest. And then the Cherokee sitting beside it. This one. That's one of my last Lexans, that and uh, the G made Komodo, the last two Lexan. One Sean, that, that Cherokee don't have, uh, I mean, the Comanche, that doesn't have an interior, right? I think the Comanche does. The one from Club 5 Racing comes with a Lexan interior. Oh yeah, that's right. It comes, like with, a yeah, it comes, in, it comes with a lack. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I've paid the play, Kevin. <laughs> See you, Tank. Kevin Gibbs laughing. Jessica. All right, guys. Have things I should. Oh, it's Jessica saying good night again. Yeah. So it's um. Yeah, the BRX of one chassis. Freaking customs though must have opened the the link the seal on it to go through because the plastic was tore and the seal was broke on it. So they must have, and then they re taped just regular. Because I was wondering why. Normally, when you get something from Asia Tees, it has like the Asia Tees tape all over it. Mm -hmm. But that tape, even that tape, was all torn apart, and there was like brown. Salad tape all around the box, and I was like, "What the hell is that?" So it must have been customs, like, yeah. tore into it. I haven't, I haven't opened it and went through. I just hope like they didn't take something out and set it to the side, and then, like forgot to put a piece back in. So send themselves, let them see it, build this without this piece, <laughs> like, you know. Because <laughs> I know if I was a customs offer, that's probably something I would do. From badness. Just a mess with people like that. Uh, set one piece to the side. <laughs> Take it all apart and put it back in the box. Yeah, yeah. Just just, uh, just leave one one little piece sitting aside and be like, let's see how I can build this. Somebody all the way to the last final screw and then it missing or something like that. That would be funny. They lost your clips. Yeah, Kevin. Well, it actually wasn't that body, Kevin. That body came. I got the body separately. Them clips, I um, that is so strange, Kevin. I I just can't understand where they they went. Like I I look actually, did they come, Kevin? In a did they come in their own like little plastic bag, or did they come on a parts tree? Because I checked all the parts tree. There was nothing on the parts tree. And I checked whatever bags I had still left over. There was nothing. Because I lost all the I lost all the C clips, the mountain brackets for the LED lights. So I just don't know where. I don't know if I lost them or I just didn't receive them. So I don't I don't mind seeing them, but knowing me, I did, and I set them somewhere where. I sat them aside and said I don't need them to later. That's probably more than likely what did happen. I sat them somewhere saying, oh, well, I'll not need them for a while. And don't even know where the hell I set them right now. There may be some custom guys laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. That has your own bag. Yeah, as it's getting darker with the sun not shining through that window, you can actually start to see them out the parts. And they're starting to materialize. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that all the time, though. Put something down and can't find it, and then it's right there. 
Like I know, <laughs> yeah. I had to, I had to concentrate. One time, I I spent about half an hour looking for a screw. Yeah. I searched everywhere for this thing, and do you know where it was? Stuck to the freaking magnet of the motor. I just, I, I was like, how can I lose? Like, I didn't move from this area. Like, how can I lose this thing? Like, I was turn everything apart. Well, I stuck to the magnet to the motor. I was lost it. Yes, in their own bag. Okay, so they're in a bag. Ay, ay, ay. So that means I'm going to definitely have to search a little more, Kevin. It's so much stuff lying around. Though, like, Would you have possibly thought they were for something else, a different kit, and put them with something else? No, definitely not. Let me see what I have over here. An interior light thing for a Bronco around the lights, the black pieces around the lights, and for a Bronco. White buzzers. Another dashboard for a TF2. Somebody's head. <laughs> um, Uh, yeah, I definitely got to I definitely got to look at that in cabin. That's probably what. Oh, you know what? Let me just. This is the bag that the. I went and brought. I went and bought these friggin' clips and everything too. These metal clips to lower the LC70 on the SCX102 chassis, so it would fit 3.7 wheels lowered. I bought that. Probably don't need. Ah, you know what? Actually, if I do the Comanche body, maybe this will work. I'll lower the Comanche body, and maybe. Could you possibly put the C clips with the light kit from my trick RC or whatever? No, I hope, or from no. Killer bodies. Yeah, I have the Killer body light kit, so I didn't put them with them. I checked it. Okay. okay. Checking out. Uh, this is the box for the. Yeah, maybe the windows or something you stuck it in the window box or. Yeah, that's what I'm checking now. The window box, nope. Not in the window box. So not in that window box either. Um, I don't know where they could be. Man, that's crazy. Where do you be? Still no wrench. Gonna ask for a refund. Oh, guys, did you buy? Uh, there it goes. I'll give you a wrench. Yeah. And moderator. There you go, guys. You should be a nice big tool now too. But guys, it would be awesome, man, if you could, if you could stop in one of these days. You know, I will. I have your email, and I will put you on the. I'll put you on the the email list that goes out every Sunday now and then, and then it don't never feel obligated. Just pop in and out whenever you can. It would be cool to have you actually on here, guys. If none of you have checked out, guys has some really good buy shows there, and it's started getting into the crawling side of it. He's got a nice um, nice defender and all there too. But he does some amazing drone videos. It's freaking really cool. I don't know how, I, like, the drone guys, I, I have no idea how they know if they're flying backwards, forwards, upside down. Like, when you see that thing spin and then go, and then they still know what direction they're going in, I'd, have, I'd be lost. I'd be thinking I'm going forward and next time I'm shooting backwards somewhere or I know how them drone guys do it. AC Froggies, hey all, just left my body's place on sales at all. No sales at all. Um. But that's crazy. AC, so next, definitely next Sunday, AC, when you have everything set up, let's walk around with the cameras and we'll see because there could be some stuff that could be interesting there to buy. You know? What else do I need to get ready for sanding? I think that's it, isn't it? Um, that's the light bucket. That's the hinges. That's the C clamps for the lights. Sean, do you wet sand it? Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, okay. I know we were talking about grit, but I was just wondering if you wet sand it. That's all the, that's all the windows and stuff. Yeah, so it looks like that's 
everything I need for sanding. So now let me see if I turn this light out. Well, uh, there, so the stuff shows up. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. That's a lot of parts now. You're getting ready for sanding and then painting. You remember RC Propaganda's video where he was washing his figures in the bathtub? You should take uh, your. Yeah. Do some wet sanding in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're in the bubble bath for this sort. Hello, little truck. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Hard to go 140 mile an hour, then climb a hill at <laughs> Totally, Earl. I could see what, like, <laughs> crawling the Earl would be, he'd be like, what the hell is going on here? Like, you know, because he, he's building freaking what do you call it, infractions of dual motors, like... He'd be like, what's brushed? Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> he'd be standing behind it, waiting, at the, waiting for it to kick up the dirt and to go, like, you know? It is. Okay, driving and listening now. Yeah. If he does it again, I may just do eBay. Yeah, I thought eBay is probably your best bet with it, I see, because you have a lot of stuff. You should have come on, you should have come on live from there, I see, because you know what? People here and people in the chat probably would have seen stuff we liked, because there was, there was a lot of stuff there, and you could have just held it aside, and then we just paid for shipping and whatever the cost of the vehicle was. Well. Because that, that garage was... That garage was wall to wall with stuff. Like, freaking crazy. Damn, RC. Hard body in the tub. Rub, dub, a dub, dub. Do any of you guys have an original SCX 10 axle rear? No. That you could show? For, not for the original. Um, I don't know. If yeah, the rear of it? Or? Uh, just. Just um, the end of it, where where the hex is. I'm just curious. I these aren't going to work on my SS, SEX 10 too. Oh, the lockouts you're wondering about. Yeah, they won't work in SX 10 too. They're no. different. These, ones. Yeah, these portals. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah. So the axle is different. Oh man, that sucks. So the back yeah. end is different than because if I end. yeah, our, if I remember correctly, the bearing on the SEX10, the the first edition didn't use two screws to hold in the bearing. No, so yeah, it just pushed in on the outside. Yeah, exactly. And then the pin holds it in. Yeah. Oh man, that's so funny. these this is for the first edition. The original first edition. Yeah. Well, well. Oh, That'd make for a beefy portal axle, I guess, first edition. Yeah. On eBay, watch Finnish Line Hobbies. That's his eBay store. Sweet. Of course, you probably don't have an original. <laughs> no, I sold it. Great week. Could Kevin, do a giveaway. Have a good one. Thank you very much for all the support and always been on the lives and I really look forward to having to see you in two weeks' time. That's going to be awesome. Like, you know, he's he's going to Honey Lulu and Wayne's event as well. So I'm going to have to sand this thing down as well. Uh, sand this down and paint this up. Get For some, a very limited time at RC Pit Rock and Portals. Get some nice stickers yeah. made inside us. Right. That'll, that'll look good once you get it painted. And yeah. In. Get it all painted up. Let me turn that light back on again. Different pulleys and stuff on it. Yeah, that's it. I have I have a worn. I don't know if I'm gonna waste a worn winch on. I might put a worn winch on the front bumper or something. Put the worn winch and then get two cheap winches for the back. Like mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a point wasting the money on an RC four wheel drive winch at the back. You know, so you could buy two of them. What do you call them? The entity or whatever? You could buy two of them entities for the price of one RC4 wheel drive one, like, you know? I might just buy one of them. It should be, it should be an interesting one. 
might almost be good to have an ESC or something to run all these winches or something. Uh, put them on their own separate 1080 or something, maybe? Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, because I'll put them all, they'll, they'll all go off the, I'll probably use the Sly Sky, the GT5, because it has the six channels, and that's all you'd need, really, six channel, you know? As long as you're not running the winches all at one time. Two, yeah, two. yeah, and even if they're on two separate channels, you can anyway. True. You could have them going, you could operate them on two different channels. So that's a back to the drawing board then, Brian. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like the UMG ten is going to go to Axial Fest with portal axles. Yeah, so that's all right. I'll make them work on something. Yeah, yeah. I, it was. I think they were forty five bucks. So, um, I'm a Daffo too. Yeah, cheers, Sean. <laughs> I wonder if I could buy just a regular scx 10 back axle and put it on the two i'm sure you probably wonder if the geometry would work i would think so i think it would. i think it would mainly mainly all as they changed between the one and the two it was like the transmission and stuff like the location of the transmission and the battery tray and, and stuff like it's still got oh, the same three gear transmission it's just a different housing yeah, yeah. Definitely I'll have not. to look on eBay. Maybe I can pull that off. So, yeah, you should be able to find SEX 10 one part still. Yeah. I know JJ's Customs got the housings and stuff. I'm not positive about the journals. Yeah. Sure I did so. finish my hacho, though. I put a flip lid on it. And I put an interior in it. The only thing I'm waiting for, I didn't print wheel wells because... After looking at the print, it was like 24 hours to do both of them. So I just, I just bought them because it was easier. So I'm waiting for wheel wells, and then this truck is done. Nice. Yeah, I got to get wheel wells for, I don't know what everybody's using for that LC70. I should go on to the BRX01. Um, they have their own page. Just asked everybody on the page, hey, what are you using for inner fenders? So I think the SCX-10, two ones would be too big. Some people, may, like Scorched RC manufactures a whole bunch of different inner fenders. Who's the name of it, Keegan? Scorched RC parts out of London. That's where I got those ones for the Mojave. Oh, okay. They're are they 3D printed, Keegan? No, these are uh, ABS plastic molded. Okay. Uh, they have different, for like, to me, as it was some sort of a white plastic, I'm not positive. Okay. Yeah. If those are 3D printed or not, but yeah, you might check that place. Yeah, I should check that out right, and see what they have. So. On the forums would be a good spot to check, see if anybody's started making them or something. Yeah, yeah the hard that, that, for the BRX01, they have their own Facebook page even, so. I'll go on that and just ask their way, hey, what are you using for inner fenders? And you might not even need inner fenders because once the interior and all is in there and everything's in and it's so low down, but I would like it. But the only reason I'm thinking the inner fenders for when you open the bonnet, like then the inner fenders will be in and then the motor just in between the inner fenders. True. Yeah. yeah. Look, look more scale. Yeah. Maybe just front ones. Yeah. I know they do. I know they do rear ones. You can get rear ones that have like big mud flaps coming down off the back of them even. I was looking at them, but I couldn't find any for the front. I don't know if like the RC four wheel drive ones would work for it or not. Yeah. Like the D ninety D one ten. Lexian. I could actually do a set in that TF two in the TF two. I could just make I should just buy some freaking styrene and make two styrene sets. Is paint them black. Right. You've been meaning to get styrene and mess with it anyway. Or you'll be good. That, be could, good be have that, right? that could be a way of getting into styrene. Like, you know, just doing the freaking inner fenders for a while. Right, so, like them, they, no. soon, they all add up. Like, it's crazy. And once they add up, when you start buying all the inner fenders for the SCX 10s and everything. This, this is still. 
the most stupid design on the, on earth like this. The Kevin's off for dinner. Yeah. So now that so now I'll show you Kat, or Kagan. So these two, see the two posts. Yep, mounting posts. Yeah. So these two mounting posts actually mount up inside the inside here like this, and screw to the underside of the body. So when you take you have to unscrew these, then unscrew the body, which is stupid. Like I. Why yeah, they it, wouldn't, why like they wouldn't make two slots right here where you could just slide these in and out and to slide the body off? Like that's so what you got to do to change the battery. You got to unscrew them and unscrew the body. Yeah, so these are the wow. idea ever. That's why I, body I unscrew D1. those from the interior. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't have them on my D110. And what I was looking for is like, let me grab my D90 in a minute. I have to get some small 3S packs or something and try to make... Yeah, so I was looking to see if I could get ones that... that see what I have on my D90? Yeah, those sliders? Yeah, and they, they just... They screw right into the holes that you use to hold the body yep. on. Yep. So I was wondering if I could get... Those are RC4 wheel drive, I think. Yeah, if I could get ones like that for the D110 or something, because they would set that 66 as well, because... The, the D90 ones are too short, but the other two trucks are four-door. You know, I can so. pick a deep quick for you. I'm right. sure they make them, though. That's the big, the, the big all season inside that one. Yeah. That's a cool-looking truck, actually, too. Right. Yeah, that's a nice truck. For myself, that is a really cool-looking camel truck. Oh, you know what? Actually, when I have that off, i got to take... I'm going to actually take a photo of that in a while because Fern was asking me about the tires. So I used the, the RC four wheel drive mud thrashers or something. I think that's what you call them for it. RC four wheel drive um, trail bikers. But they're really scale looking like so. They definitely make them for the TRX4. So the, that's the that's the ones I use on my D90. Like the mod thrashers, they're just really scale looking even. And they're like they're ones you would actually see on a Land Rover. You know? Or 1.9 mod thrashers. Or trail trail but what is it? Did I say? Trail busters, 1.9 trail busters. They're just they even they stay nice and thin like and everything too. They're good for for the D nineties. They just look perfect. I'll probably put a set of these on the. I'll probably put a set of these on the D one ten as well. Be nice. Yeah. Because I have an extra, I have a set of four sitting there, two on a trailer, one on the hood of the D ninety. Well, I'll just buy new ones. Maybe. Yeah, they make them rock slider rails for D110 body. Go on. Yeah. Four wheel drive make it, Keegan? Yeah, RC four wheel drive. On eBay, there's. Take care, guys. My wife put me in time out. Have a blessed evening. Take care, guys. No problem, Javier. Thanks for stopping in. We'll chat to you tomorrow night on Operation 11, Charlie. I should be home in time tomorrow night to definitely make tomorrow night's show. I know I missed last week, so I was lurking in the background last week. So I should be home tomorrow night in time for it. Extra you know speed. I'm going to make it my point to be home in time for tomorrow night. How's about that? Not I should be home in time, but make it a point to be home. No excuse. Yeah. So that's, Gav, that's um, Javier, their Operation 11, Charlie. He's the main, what I was explaining the other day about the veterans. So Javier is the main guy from Operation 11, Charlie, that started the, the thing that we do for the veterans. Guys, so that's who 11 Charlie is. I know I did send you a link to 11charlie.com that explains 
a little bit of what we do. Yeah, I'm sending them out a build to probably tomorrow. Wait, Kagan, Steel Rock Sliders, RC Oh yeah, so I'll have to I'll have to see the measurements of the of the RC four wheel drive D one ten and the Team Rafi D one ten just to make sure the where the holes are and the sliders will line up. Then you know, mm -hmm. I know you can't. I know you can't use you can't use the Team Rafi. D110 body on the RC four wheel drive D110 chassis. You can't use the term because different. I, but I think that's only the wheelbase is slightly different. But I okay. think the middle. I think the middle part should still be the same. Like you know, I think it's just the actual two wheelbases. Because a lot of people don't realize like that D110 is actually longer than a TRX4. So it is, it's small, it's smaller and real scale, but a lot longer. Okay. Yeah, Brian, guys, everyone. Who uh, are my brothers? A bunch of a few uh, different Yeah, uh, Kurt, Kurt's actually picked up a nice Team Rafi triple four there. Or I think it's the triple four he just installed. Oh, Kurt. Yep. You're, you we were trying to think earlier, Kurt, now you're in the chat. Where did you... Um, where did JJ open the new store? We were saying San Jose, but we weren't sure. I know you were at the grand opening the other day. So I just wondered. Green Frog, do you use any of them beef tubes? Uh, I've, I've used hot racing brass tubes, same idea, in yeah. the SEX 10-1. I got but a problem with mine. It, it It's way top heavy, my van. It just flips over so much. They're a good product, though. They stiffen your axles up, if nothing else. But, yeah, they're great. You're not going to lose any, uh, like, if you have it up above the springs or out in the wheels or something, it's kind of detrimental to the performance and the electronics yeah. if it's in the wheels. I'm trying to figure out how to make it so I got stuff on top of it, So, but it's really top-heavy. I think actually makes a decent one. They're pretty, pretty cheap. I think that's what Tony goes with. But stainless steel ones, you don't need to get the – if the brass ones are way more expensive, stainless steel is still going to add some weight down there and not rust on you or anything. They just yeah. slide right in, right? Yeah. You I mean, do you think that would help for them? I mean, it's just so top-heavy. It's yeah. crazy. They don't slide right in on the SMT-10. There's that little nub at the end of the axle. You have to grind that down a little bit. Oh, the drive to, shaft, yeah. Yeah, on the on the drive shaft to get it on. But I mean that that's the SMT ten. I'm I can't speak for any other vehicle. Yeah, the little nub that locks into the locker itself. Mm -hmm. You grind that off so it'll slip through the beef tube. Yep, you're right. Yeah, yeah about that. Uh, yeah, Tony's so got Kurt, videos on. So yeah, Kurt said San Jose. So you were right, Kagan. He did move to San Jose. Just a different location. Yeah. Looks nice. Nice little shop. I was yeah. going to cut maybe like a 16 penny nail and put it on the outside of the axle, but I don't know. There's a few things. They have a uh, shock cap or shock retainers that are brass. If it's a 10 2, I, it's a 10 2, yeah. The shock mounts, I think you can remove those and those they have in brass. Um, they have links, link ends that are brass. You can replace those on the bottom. And they might wear out over Yeah, time. I got link ends. I got I got metal link ends and all that stuff. It's just it's just really top heavy. Yeah, yeah, I can I can imagine. Just the body itself, and then you got the roof rack and the Yeah, interior. and I got a spare tire on it and all that stuff. Is that the is that, that van that they came out with a while ago? Yeah, as a pro line van. Yeah. The, the dog. Rock van. Rock van. Yeah, the rock van. That's that um, the Dodge. Ah, I nearly missed a piece there. Uh, I'm gonna spray that up and then I would have cried if I had missed that afterwards. All right, gotta sand it down and paint. Oh, yeah. it's trying to cut it out afterwards, even though in the neck. But you can definitely now that the sun went away from that mirror, you can definitely see how much stuff was there to, to start. Mm -hmm. I was even trying to get like stiffer shocks. Would that would that help any? Yeah. 
it, at least it wouldn't be as tipsy on corners and stuff. Uh, sway bars might help for turning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sway yeah. I mean, bars. it'll turn right over. It'll flip right over going around a corner. Not even half throttle. It'll just boop right over. How are, how are your foams? Are they given the sidewalls of your foams given out? A dual stage. Yeah, foam? they're probably gone. I might have to get new foams too. Like a dual stage foam might be something to think, or at least a closed cell foam like Francois used on his mini when his Winnebago is like three times, four times stiffer than the originals, and they barely give anyway. That'd help a lot right off the bat. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably put if you're going to use a Zon a lot, I'd probably put sway bars on it. Yeah, that's my main vehicle. Oh, beat the creek is this weekend. Yeah, I think yesterday and today was Beat the Creek, I think. Yeah, I, I'm on Beef Tube's website and they were just, they're there. So That's in Kentucky. Store is, yeah, yeah, their Kentucky. store is closed. Yeah, May, Maysville, Kentucky. I think there's a leaf spring kit you can add to SCX 10 twos. Might not be a bad option for you. Have a I might do them sway bars. They don't, they probably get it's them. It's going to be more capable with the sway bars than putting leaf springs on it. Yeah. I guess you can pick that up Amazon or something, huh? Amazon, yeah, eBay. That's where I got mine. Yeah. They're and they're they're dirt cheap too. Yeah. And it's crazy that the difference, like if you look at that side. Hold on. <laughs> you just say this I'm just trying to hold them in place because it's just crazy the difference in the loop. That it gives it there, like they all clip in, right, Sean? Yeah, well, well, they they all, use, well, you they use all, glue too, right? No, well, they all screw in. But all like, they screw in. If you look at that side, it's, just, it's crazy the difference, like the slurs on the. Uh, oh yeah. Like you know. Definitely got to keep it in mind with the tires. It drops it down yeah. a bit. That's it. So flares make some difference, but they all screw in, like so. They'll help yeah. to hide the shocks too. Yeah. Really and you can also get the uh, you can also get the ones for it that are beefier, like the big bulked out ones. Uh, I think they call that like uh, I can't mind some sort of Land Rover begins with a K or something, a crayon. Con. Or, what is it, Kevin? Con, I think. Yeah, yeah, the con. So you can get you can get the pieces to make it look like the the con as well. But I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. Like you know, just. Once you get into Lexan, you could just add it on yourself. Just add pieces to each door, cut it in a general shape, and match it on the other side. Yeah, that's it. You could do that. Like so, I think that's yeah. what I should do. I should start. I think that's what I should do. I should just buy a couple of things of general sizes. Yeah, you know, and then just make some inner fenders with it. Like you know, because all you had to do is roll a piece down and then a flat piece that you could screw it to the chassis or something. Yeah, use a, a heat gun or whatever and form it, melt it. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Fun. They usually like slice in the bottom, so it'll bend a little bit, and a heat gun, and it bends it over. Yeah, that's so. Because I have never used any styrene, so that's what I should do. Right. Yeah. yeah. Xavier was mentioning good sizes to get. What he uses, he has a variety of thicknesses. Let's see how, now that all them axes were cut out of that, let's see how that motor actually looks in there now. Oh yeah, man. With that, with that, um, with that, all them axes cut out. That motor looks sweet in there, man. Oh yeah, man. Look at that. It's crazy that that's an aluminum motor too. It's all aluminum. Really? Yeah. Damn, that's sweet. Yeah, it's freaking. Them crazy. shocks, you're gonna have a problem though with your, you know the. Yeah, I think I'll change them shocks though. Yeah. Hit the inner fenders too. Inner fender is oh. going to be messed up. But the, the detail in that, the detail even in that chrome, or in that aluminum. Right. Looks like you'd have an oil filler cap or something. Yeah. That's and even fan. like, if you see around that, it's hard to see on the camera, but around that even has, let me see if the camera will focus on it. Maybe not. You're going to have a fan for it and everything? Yeah. Belts and all that stuff. See all the little lines even grooved into it? 
to make it look like an actual filter. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything like it's all for it's all aluminum, like you know. You think they would have done it just plastic or something like, but no. Nope. Sean, you know what you need to do is put a wash on that so it looks like it's a little dirty. Looks like the air filter hasn't been changed. Yeah, yeah. There's something like so. Bother it. Oh wow, it's quarter to seven already. Yeah, so AC froggy. T T what's he say? T T Y L guys, what? See you later, guys. Nice live stream, Sean. See you soon. Guys, no problem. As I said, from now on. I'm gonna add I'm gonna add your name to the list and then just pop in and out whenever you feel like it. It's actually good to have you on sometime, you know. So thanks very much. We're gonna actually say our goodbyes anyway. We'll stay on afterwards. So um Benfield, you wanna say your goodbyes there? Yeah, it's just been nice talking on the chat and hope you guys stay safe. Take it easy. No problem, Brian, RC Pet Products. Thanks, Sean, for having me. And uh, we'll uh, see you all next weekend. No problem. Kagan? Thanks for having me, Sean. It's a good time. Uh, hopefully you'll have a Wednesday night or something, have another live or something to keep building on stuff and like to continue to see you progress on all your builds, catch up. Yeah. Um, thanks very much, Kagan, for always being here. Thanks, guys, for being around. And everybody in the chat, thank you very much for – always been here and showing the support and I appreciate all you do. So next time this thing will start getting sanded and painted. Well, I'll probably get it painted by the time I do know. Well, actually I'll do a live Wednesday night. Probably I'll do one with when I'm building the BRX for one chassis, but that'll probably be just a camera spotlight. It. So it'll be, it'll just be a spotlighted camera. Like, Hey, Black Wolf, um, we're actually just wrapping up and saying our goodbye. So, but thanks very much for stopping in anyway. Um, so, so, as I said, I'll probably do a live Wednesday night, building the chassis for the LC70. I'll do an unboxing. I'll do a live unboxing and build at the same time, which I hope goes well, considering I've never even looked at the instruction manual for it. So, so like 69 under 100 or under 1,000 now. What's that? 69 under 1,000. Maybe uh, people share you around and stuff. By the 15th, you can do some lives from down at Honey Lulu's. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that would be nice. So, yeah. Mm. I, yeah, I don't think I'll make the 1,000 before I get down there, though. So, would have been nice, though. Right. Um, all right, everybody. Thank you very much for taking the time to stop in and let me 